I'm Karen Philly, and these are my gardens, and we have lived here for 30 years, and the home was built around the gardens. There's a specific tree that the house was built around, and we put in the vegetable garden while the house was under construction so we could have production our first year. The house was built around the tree, and it had a large deck around the tree because we wanted to protect, it was a native oak and we wanted to protect the tree. Well, after the deck had been there 25 years, I was really getting tired of all the maintenance. We were spending hundreds of dollars every year replacing this board, replacing that board. And I finally said, why don't we just rip it out and do something different? And it was at that point that we decided that we would like a stone patio. And since we had stone and it doesn't breathe like wood, we decided that we had to have professional advice. And we had Mark Bays come out and he designed a system to preserve the tree, to give it breathing tubes and water tubes. And so we have now a stone patio around our tree instead of a deck. It's doing very well. The deck was lined with pots and now we have a limited number of pots because I no longer have a daughter that gets paid a nickel to water every pot. So now I have to do those myself. So we have them on a drip system, automatic watering system. Where we're sitting, it used to be sand and all grass. We used to have grass clear back to the fence. But as the natchez grew into a large tree, this became too shady. We couldn't garden here. And it was like, oh, this is way too much to put a total floral garden. So we decided to split it and leave that one garden there and make a separated path here so you can sit and actually enjoy the gardens. That used to be a rose garden. Now it's almost total shade, so we have hydrangeas there. We can no longer have a, a bright, sunny garden there. When we travel, we buy souvenirs and there are influences here. There's an Apsari dancer down in the patio area. There's a good guy stuck in the gardens back here. Those are all from Cambodia and Thailand. We have cowbells and temple bells hanging in the trees. We also have always collected Native American and Southwestern art. It always reminds me of where we've been, what we're doing, the good times that we had selecting them. The gardening, there's a little plaque down at the entry of the way that says Dad's Garden because the children always think of it as Dad's Garden because Dad works out here with the floodlights at night because it gets too dark when he works all day. And they always called it Dad's Garden, but both of us have always gardened. I grew up on a farm, so I always did, had the 4-H exhibits and now it's involved into community work that both of us are in the Horticultural Society. He's past president, I'm currently the treasurer. I'm a master gardener, and we just share our gardens with everyone and share the passion and help teach others to garden. It's really not that hard, just get out and do it. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.